what, what, what the ladies talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? In a new documentary that premiered at Cannes on Thursday, singer Dion Warwick's sister, Dee Dee Warwick, has been named as the family member who molested Whitney Houston. In the documentary Whitney, the singer's longtime assistant, Mary Jones, says that Whitney Houston confided in her and told her about the molestation, which happened when she was a child. But Whitney wasn't the only family member who suffered molestation. Her brother, Gary Garland Houston, said that he was also molested as a child. Kevin McDonald, the director of Whitney, told IndieWire that it was Whitney Houston's brother who told him that she might have been molested by Dee Dee after revealing that he himself was. He said, I was abused by this person and told me, I think she abused Whitney, McDonald said. Pat Houston, Gary's wife who's here, told me that, yeah, Whitney had told her this, but not given any details. There was something about her discomfort in her own skin, something about the way she presents or hide herself, her lack of overt sexuality, McDonald said. She's this beautiful woman, but she's very closed in her demeanor. He added, I'd been watching her for several months and saying to editors, there's something about her that reminds me of something. According to Jones, the childhood trauma impacted Whitney's life which led her to issues with sexuality and drugs. Dee Dee Warwick, who died in 2008, was the niece of Houston's mother, Sissy Houston. Dion Warwick has yet to comment. You know, things like this happen way too often. Much more often than anybody could ever imagine. And it's usually, almost always, a family member or a close friend. And it doesn't matter what the age is or gender. People let the fox into the chicken coop every day, unknowingly. And let's not talk about the people that do drugs because when people do drugs, the only thing that come to their mind is getting that fixed. They'll leave their kids with anybody. Or they'll just leave them totally unsupervised. And it doesn't matter how old the kid is. And this is how a lot of kids get taken advantage of also. I was just often would think when I would see Whitney on television and I see her in these different stages of you know, dress, uh, appearance. I mean, like, man, such a beautiful woman, like destroying herself. When I heard about this documentary, I was like, man, why would they put out something like this? Why would they reveal something so private and horrific that Whitney herself chose not to share publicly? Then I thought about it. Maybe, just maybe. If people was to see her truth, they'd be more understanding and sympathetic as to why she abused drugs in the first place. No more talk. What, what the ladies talking about? Yeah.